What's going on guys? So new day, new video, and I think you guys are gonna like this one. We have the daily here, previously the wife's diesel babe truck, and also you've got her new short bed extended cab 12 valve over there, which stay tuned because her giveaway for that truck launches next week, and it's not a very long giveaway. It's shorter than the giveaway I'm running for the first gen over there, so you might want to stay tuned and get entered in on that. Her channel is just Rosing 24 v Go check it out. She's got a site launching and everything. You're not gonna to want to miss out on winning that truck. 160,000 mile, 12 valve, and it's a holy grail. Short bed, extended cab. They only made that truck in production for six months, and that's why it's just such a hard truck to find. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out on your opportunity to take it home. So we've got the trailer hooked up, and if you saw my other little series on our LNP Homestead channel, you saw I threw this trailer together, just a very, very simple side railing system so that we can load up some mulch on it. So we've got the side rails on, just some two by fours dropped into the slots with some two by twelves. We're gonna put probably three tons of mulch on here, and that is where the video comes into play here. So we're gonna be loading up three tons of mulch and uh, seeing how it handles behind this truck because that'll be 6,000 pounds with probably 2,500, 2,000 to 2,500 pound trailer behind this. So we're gonna be pulling approximately 8,000 plus pounds. So I think it'll be pretty, pretty sweet. It'll be a fun little video, I think. We'll see how that turns out. We'll see how that goes. I'll start prepping board. So then in the shop, we just picked up 62 by fours, 10 footers. And they're going to be busy all day hanging these. They're going to be running them basically like how we ran these. And they're going to be building these framing systems, basically to hang the sheeting from, you know, here to here. All the way back is what they're going to be working on. I don't know how much we'll get done, but that's going to be what they're working on today is getting it ready to hang the steel. And of course, working around this, that so we can now use this for our pulley system to lift beds and stuff like that. So that's the progress on the shop. I'm probably not going to get any video of this today other than maybe show you guys their progress once we get back. But that's what they're working on today. Little update on the resto gen in the door. It actually didn't look too bad once it's dry. I might, I might uh, mask that all off and do it some more. But here's the frame of the resto gen. We finally got it all pretty much coated up. It's in pretty good looking condition. We do have a new exhaust that just came in for the truck. So hopefully we can install that here very, very soon. And then we can get the bed thrown on here. And uh, yeah. Looks good, looks good. So um, other than the muddy fuel tank, which is annoying, the frame actually looks very, very nice now. And this truck will be ready to go to paint hopefully by the end of the week. And then that truck's gonna be leaving us. So we're gonna have to find something else to make content with. Oh my gosh, here we go. Holy crap, it's moving the whole entire truck. Oh yeah, because it's going from no weight to a bunch of weight. Oh, but he is spreading out for you. I mean, they're trying to do, trying to do a little something here. He's a professional. Yeah, professional. Just don't bump my trailer because that thing will completely crush it. <laughs> well, we'll see how much we get loaded up here, and then uh, we'll let them know how much it weighs if they do that for us. Six yards of mulch. I don't know what yards mean in tons. But I thought he said 500, I thought he said 500 pounds per yard. I could be completely wrong, but I thought it was 500 pounds per yard. He said we got six yards, so it should be approximately 3,000 pounds of mulch on the trailer. But I don't know for sure, just a guess. It could be completely off. Help me down in the comment section below, because I could hardly hear the guy, because we're talking through a window because of all this nonsense. And uh, so I just paid for who knows how much mulch. <laughs> I said, I need a lot of mulch. How much? I said, fill the trailer. He's like, okay. He's like, what kind of mulch? I said, the cheapest stuff you got. Got it. 148 freaking dollars, old son. Jesuit lied to me. <laughs> no, I'm messing. But I was expecting, because a buddy of mine said, if you just buy like the wood chip mulch, like it's just supposed to be like the cheapest stuff that you can get. It's supposed to be like $5 a ton. And he said he just bought a bunch of it for that price. And I don't know if he was talking about mulch or it's just like literally wood chippings, but this crap was not $5 a ton. $148. Anyways, truck's pulling fine. It actually rides really nice. It actually rides way better with weight on the trailer than without the trailer because without any weight on the trailer, it just, the trailer does like this little bounce. 
it's not bad on this, but it's just a little bounce, bounce, bounce the whole time. This is actually pretty nice. So we're gonna get back to the house and unload this, but uh, it rides really nice, no complaints. We are back from uh, getting that mulch and whatnot. Truck pulled really well, really wasn't any kind of work. I mean, it was, you know, with, between the trailer and the load, like five, maybe 6,000 pounds, but uh, handled it like a champ. It actually rode better. The truck even rode softer with that on there, which makes sense because the suspension got softened up a little bit with the load. But yeah, it rode really nice, handled it super easy, and it kind of makes me feel bad that I don't work the truck more because it's just more enjoyable to drive it, honestly. But a couple of little updates here. First little update, here's the red first gen. Every $5 gets you five entries to win this truck. Ends on May 7th, but the 5X entries end on April 23rd, so don't wait around. Get entered to win this truck. Go to lmpgear.com, or I'll leave a link down below. It's that easy. Spend five bucks or more, get entered to win that truck, plus $5,000 cash. So here's an update on the ceiling. They got a lot of the framing done. We're not done with it, of course, but they're getting the main bones of the ceiling framing done so that we can get some progress. I basically just told them we're gonna buy a truck load or a trailer load full of two by fours. We put 62 by fours, 10 footers on that trailer so that they could get them hauled in here and uh, get the ceiling knocked out. Of course, there's a lot. Well, that's because we're gonna use a lot and uh, we gotta finish, well, the rest of the barn there, and then whatever I don't use, I'm gonna be using on a chicken coop that I have to build. But uh, other little surprise, I'm gonna show you guys. Some of you might not care for this, but that's fine. I'm not gonna make much content about it. I just wanna show you. We got some pigs. Yeah, look at you. What are you complaining about? I got a whole bunch of slop, potatoes, you got fresh water. They got their 16% uh, protein mix there, you know, making a mess. It's going to get tipped over, so we're only using that as like a temporary dish because we had to pick something up because we weren't really expecting to pick them up today. So we just grabbed a dish, threw some stuff in it, but we got to go get an actual feeder that they can't just tip over, especially once they get a little bit bigger. But yeah, here they are. I don't know what they're doing over there. It works. But believe it or not, if you're a farmer and you've raised hogs, you know this and you probably will believe it but the guy that we bought these off of he said they're just they're between like 40 and 50 pounds right now but he said they will be 300 pounds by the first week of October that's only five months away 300 pounds but uh, so that's crazy we're already gonna have to call and get them scheduled in five months in advance just because they will just get booked up and with deer season right around the corner from the time these need to be harvested it, it'll just be nuts and you will not be able to get it done so if you are somebody that's doing something like this for the first time, call months ahead and get them booked. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with them for quite some time. That is a progress for the day. My hat is on like completely sideways. Let me fix this here. There, yeah, Got to represent. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to enter to win this truck because the giveaway is winding down and you are going to run out of time to win this truck. And then I guarantee the last like three, four days, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I really do wanna enter. And then you're gonna enter anyway. So you might as well enter now. Lots going on, a lot of big stuff happened today. We used the trailer for the first time, all the few thousand pounds of mulch. We went and picked up pigs. We did a run, first drive in Reagan's truck. Go see that on her channel at Rosine24V. And I did actually start this truck up for the first time since we bought it, and it started right up. It actually ran really good. I like fired it up and it just like touched on a dime, started right up, it was awesome, super cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you wanna follow our LNP Homestead channel, which is where we do the videos on the chickens, the pigs, and all the other stuff we're gonna be bringing to that channel as well, check that out. It's the LNP Homestead channel. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.